Hi there, Terry Bailey, Senior Minister, Indian Run Christian Church, East Canton, Ohio, continuing to speak today about the uh, message of 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 10 to 15. Let's read that passage again. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, in which the heavens will pass away with a roar, and the elements will be destroyed with intense heat, and the earth and its works will be burned up. Since all these things are to be destroyed in this way, what sort of people ought you to be in holy conduct and godliness, looking for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be destroyed by burning and the elements will melt with intense heat. But according to his promises, we are looking for a new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you look for these things, be diligent to be found by him in peace, spotless and and blameless, and regard the patience of our Lord as salvation, just as also our beloved brother Paul, according to the wisdom given him, wrote to you. I've spoken of how we should be an expectant and optimistic people, since we believe that Christ is coming again to set all things right and institute a new creation. And then I spoke of how when he comes, he should find us dwelling in his peace, not in confusion and chaos, regardless of all the circumstances that surround us. And now I'd like to say that we should be, as Peter said, a people who strive to be blameless and spotless. Now, Without going into a big word study and looking at several other scriptures, and if anyone is ever interested in that kind of discussion, you seek me out and and we will have it. But let me tell you that our blamelessness comes not from our own conduct primarily, but from the blood of Jesus Christ, which washes us clean and removes all stain of sin. And yet there is this way in which Peter thinks of our being blameless and spotless by action. And especially in the literature concerning the second coming of Christ, it means not to be stained by the world. Here is the key thing. We are God's called out community meant by him to be different than this fallen world. And the difference should be obvious. And our righteousness, by comparison as Christ and the Holy Spirit live within us and guide us, becomes those glorious white robes that everyone should be able to discern. We should be, as we count on his coming, a people who are blameless and spotless, not stained by the world. Let us not have the episode of this current crisis become a blot on the church, but let us offer the testimony of those who walk daily in trust with Jesus Christ and know that he will come again and let that contrast be stark like pure white garments against the stained and soiled backdrop of the fallen world. If you would bow your heads with me. Father, help us to live blameless and spotless in this way as those who know that you will come again and who realize the testimony that must be presented to the world in light of your coming. Guide us in this manner through this current crisis, and through all crises that must be faced in this present creation. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.